as if eight generate five million. You will easily value that at like two, three times revenue, 15 million. What you doing on a Tuesday? Do you really gotta get two dollar drinks? Girl, just think, let it all sink. Girl, I'm the captain, but you should go down with the ship. That's a metaphor for our relationship. Girl, I'm What's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the week flow where I take you behind the scenes of my startup, Gen Flow. You'll be seeing everything that we do here. So if you love business, you're gonna love this video. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Sean. I am the CEO of a company called Gemflow. We help social media influencers build brands. We do everything from manufacturing, design, app development, content creation, so many different things now. I have a team of 50, we're based here in London. I'm currently in the London office and we have an office out in LA. But anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. In this video, you're actually gonna see less of me and more of my team. So I'm actually working on a fundraise right now. So I've been extremely busy, so in this video, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of my team see what we've been up to so much is going on Q4 is gonna be absolutely amazing so enjoy the video meet my team see what they've been up to hopefully you can learn some things and it can help you build your business I reckon we get probably five of these a day filled with all sorts of fun stuff so these are going live in two weeks this is for a US client Launching in the US, the stock will be in the US as well. It's a swimmer brand. We've got these cool eco pouches that are made from the same material as the swimsuit. It's made from the offcuts, which is really cool. All high shine, got crystal frames, we've got it infilled. One of the most questions I get asked at the moment is how do I get more customers for my brand? And it ultimately comes down to people have not taken the time into actually understanding who their customer is and what do they actually want. Most people, maybe like yourself, start a brand, want to sell some products, and they're too focused on what the product is, they're never focused on what the person actually wants. So that's the biggest mistake I see today, and I would advise you to start thinking and working on creating a customer journey of what is it that somebody wants, why, where do they buy now, why do they buy that, and then trying to emulate that into your brand so you get everything right. Hope that helps you. You made your fancy team yet? No, not yet, but you know. The winning team is coming, don't worry. Fantasy League is back in the office. It is getting pretty heated, I won't lie to you. Ashan's PA, he's asked me to put some time in the calendar so he can fill out his own fantasy football team. I did suggest that I make his, but uh, word sabotage was used, so. Shanice is looking pretty on it. She's going for the win this, this time. She's gonna win the fantasy <laughs> league this year. <laughs> I'm gonna win it this year. Yeah. But I think I think I think more people are joining the league this year. We have a lot of new people. Chloe, Chloe joined as well. Did you? Uh, I think it's gonna be tight this year. But yeah. we, we won't let Sean win it this year. So last year, Sean was super super lucky. He won by like 15, 20 points. Oh, I was winning for the last two weeks, and then last week, everything went downhill. <laughs> And he won. It's going to be tight, I think, this year. Sean's obviously put his stake in the works with winning last year, albeit on luck. But yeah, I think it'll be probably a three, four horse race, I think. In hindsight, that was a moment in time. I fell in the mode in a blind light. Watching us dance from the sidelines. Vibes ride through high mind. Hand on the hip, handling it. All in a trance in a blind light. Currently working on the business strategy for the next two quarters. Ideally, we have a plan for the next year, but we're focusing on all the specifics for the next six months, essentially. Really excited. Give me hypnotized and triple the time, tripping to get it inside. Yeah, and it's visiting time. We pause in all way, drawn out all gray, all night, always. Cause I Rise if eight generate five million, you will easily value that at like two, three times revenue, 15 million do a little show for the clothing and stuff and then just kind of get things running that way and then we'll just carry on with the standard yeah. activation and whatnot. But I think there's a load of cool things that we can do in the middle. 
there's always a new hot product. Yeah. There always is. We used to do um, big. We used to do a lot of furniture, and we'd be like, there'd be the new sofa bed that'd come out, be click and you know, so it'd just be click click. It'd be kind of like three different yeah. things or whatever. They'd come in, flood the market. It'd be super popular, and then it'd just die off. But with, with Amazon, you can really get that data. Mm -hmm. So you know, outside of Amazon, what to work with, on with your clients. Mm -hmm. So you're like, okay, these bottles are really popular. Mm -hmm. Just an example, like chili, those chili bottles. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they were in fast track this year. They, they're doing like 35 million revenue off those bottles. So how would a user sit and do it themselves? I just explained how it should be an admin. That would 100% be different. So in three day, what are the three days? And you call them the session, so whatever they have today, full body, full body, full body. You click on full body, and you define what that session is in from categories. So lots of exciting stuff going on with ads at the moment. Got a couple of new clients who are more international based, which means kind of more different languages that we're going to put these guys through. And just exciting to have a look at those kind of markets. Obviously, whenever you're looking at European markets, for example, even subtle things like the interest change, just because there's new brands over in France or Spain or wherever it is that we can now target based more on those kind of interests. Also working on a couple of client rebrands, so really exciting stuff there. Obviously a lot of work goes into it from the digital marketing perspective because you've not just got to think about what you're doing once the rebrand's confirmed, you've got to work on a way to build some excitement and anticipation. And for that, we definitely recommend that you have kind of like your website click campaigns. You do things that are much more top of funnel and brand awareness rather than just conversion based. And in that way, you can get more people to your landing pages, get more people into your remarketing audience get more people following you on Instagram and then it's only gonna do you well when you actually come to launch your brand. Another exciting thing that we've got going on is a few of our marketing plans with clients are kind of expanding, they're changing, they're doing things like outdoor campaigns as well. So from a digital perspective, what we can do there is we can location target the campaigns around the billboards, say you do it within a kilometer radius, and that way you get even more impact, reach and frequency for those customers and you can really kind of expand their plan. Certainly from a digital perspective, because you're only one click to download an app or one click to go purchase a product, I would highly recommend that you always have a digital plan off the back of any outdoor or TV media that you have. What you you gotta do with it? I tell you if the current ain't current, no one knows what to do with it. Addicted like the first hit. Yo, I'm high up the memory, birth my identity. Cat a mouse with that new new. Hey, dumb me down, make me too cool. Hey, lose control like voodoo. Hey, I've been joining for that old school lost in her language you don't know. You can't encrypt the code. This love's unusual. Forget the world before. You can't just fake the mode. Take that shit on the road. You always on the go. You don't stop anymore. In the car, in the back, no way in the house. We act like innocent kids. Asking the driver to tell us about how we I am just working on some sale promotion videos. She has a sale coming up next week. So we need to be promoting this. Yeah, promising eyes like I see this moment in hindsight. That was a moment in time. I fell in the mode in the blind light. Watching us dance from the sidelines. Vibes ride through high mind. Hand on the hip, handle it, handle it, handle it. Promising eyes like I see this moment in hindsight That was a moment in time I fell in the mode in the blind light Watching us dance from the sidelines Vibes right I wasn't even doing a post on this That everyone looks at this engagement When you should be looking at impressions yeah. I'm gonna put in the thing right Because that's what it's really about How many people are seeing you Meeting rooms or having a phone call That is like hard to build Because you have to be away from the people sitting down You can't be like oh, I'll just go there When the, the whole people are sitting on the other side yeah. Like it's, it's gonna be tough tough Hey, how you guys doing? So you'll have three revenue streams now in a way because when they buy through iTunes, you know, it feels safer and then your bank statement says iTunes too. So it's a complete different psychology like compared to someone buying on your website like am I gonna get scammed, am I gonna get this? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna show you. It'll make it easier while I speak. So basically someone just picks that when they're coming into the app 
they end up subscribing. So once they decide, we already know that information. So then they will have the plan. So I'm on this program. Here's my days. I can go into it. I can track like. Also, it's a marketing thing because uh, when we create ads and stuff, we would use those clips a lot of like, you know, of you training. Now I'm back on the grind, trying to get you off of my mind. Shooting go to Tisha, always on static, starting a militia. What we need to do, especially on the product side, then it would be on the app side, Sam, if you can hear me. We now need to tentatively plan the next 12 months, like when would we like to do something? A quarter before we actually firm that up, because I think that's the right way to do this. You just put a date on them, you don't need a separate pause, because then they automatically go into Q1 launch of that. So speaking out loud, you would want to do one collab and maybe two collections in one quarter. Mm. That probably would be enough. I don't think you could do more than that. No. And then you'll have restocks. We now we know there has to be a restock every month. Yeah. So there has to be at least three restocks, a collab, two collections, and maybe some sort of sale event as well in a quarter. Yeah. That, that's it. That's, that's your product it. plan. And that, yeah. the only thing is that needs to be listed out with dates. So you're like, this is what's going on. Should we run through everything in stage one? Then make sure that's in as someone with a date in. That's my trust, baby. I've been thinking about us lately, and yeah. I've had enough, baby. That half ass love, I don't need it. Girl, I'm done, so don't hit me up. I ain't coming back like never. If you say I don't care. So, these are some PU, so like fake leather, made from fruit. So, it's like recycled, regenerated, but it comes in really small batches. So I'm just cutting off a few bits so that we can share them with a client who's looking to develop this for their brand. Um, but they don't smell great and they're quite crunchy. But one's made from pineapple and that smells nicer then. Like they'd be really good for like a handbag or something that's really sturdy, but like you don't really wear, wear that. And she's just completely come into her own entity. And I think that's what makes her so powerful because she she empowers so many women whilst being on that journey, especially women of kind of mixed heritage, that now taking that and building out her own presence and her own brand, she's just a force to be reckoned with. So this week been working on loads of our clients copy now copy I would say is probably one of the two key factors that are going to bring you in lots of ROI with the other one being creative but I do really think that copy gets massively overlooked so here are some of my best tips for writing really great copy so number one is focus on the headline people go 80% of the time to the headline and then they won't necessarily read your other stuff so you need to make sure without clickbaiting too much that you're giving some value and you're really speaking to people number two is to make sure that you're thinking of just one person and not the entire audience. Whilst you've got an entire audience of people to speak to, people actually read your copy one at a time. You're only selling to one person. So you wanna make sure that it's super personal and it's super reactionary to what's happening in your target audience's lives at that time. And then number three is that people buy it on emotion. So you wanna make sure you're tapping in to their real life fears, their real life hopes, their real life dreams, and that's the best way to get people to buy. Just talking about your products and its features is really, really boring, but if you start telling me what the features will do for me and what it will do to my life, it makes it much more exciting and suddenly you've got great copy. And as a bonus, I would definitely recommend that you do longer form captions. You'd have probably seen this on our Instagram, gemflow underscore follow if you're not, and basically the logic behind that is that it takes a lot more time for someone to read it in their feed so instead of suddenly having an ad like this you've got an ad like that ultimately if people aren't interested they're just gonna scroll past and they're not too interested but you've then suddenly got to go through all of that to scroll past it so if you can find something that's interesting in there and can hook people's attentions they're far more likely to read your product and like your ad come join the club and yeah. if the messaging is there, new people are going to come for them. That is the club, so... True, yeah, true. Uh, with that one will change the name straight away, but two, when we do Community V3, we can overhaul all of that. No letters, yeah, she's visual, so you gotta show effort, that's on me. 
Actually, this week's been a massive week because we just finished up on a massive pitch, sent it off to the client, and we've also kind of showcased like one of the best prototypes I've ever made. Not to brag, but like we showed like the client like the first prototypes of like his new product, and they went mental. And yeah, so I think like a lot of things have happened, and we're moving really quickly because now that we're leading up to Christmas, like we're already in September, everything that we order now is going to be really coming in time for like Black Friday. For so I just need to do a lot of forward planning to really hit that Q4 and make sure that we have product for those key buying periods and yeah and loads of other projects and designs that we're working on for the for the various clients that we have <laughs> just logistically there's a lot of things that you need to think about like from the supply side of things like do they have any holidays coming up with covid at the moment like what potential issues could be faced with shipping etc and then kind of like planning backwards as well looking at last year's sales and then kind of projecting that you know if we go into another lockdown whatever it could be how we forecast like certain products to sell in which markets what we're saying is we know in may yeah we hit like a massive peak in terms of super so these are the total number of people that did 15 or more workouts in a given yeah. month now it's looking at what did we do then that we can sort of say that's a reason for that number so it was 30% Packing up PR boxes, ready to send out to influencers ahead of this brand's launch, uh, which is coming next week. So we put in a couple of products, obviously in their size, and then a little gift just to add to touch. And then there's also a card with a message from the brand. When do the PR boxes normally go out in relation to the actual launch? Usually like a couple of days before launch, just because you want to kind of get everyone hyped up and um, like posting it on their stories ahead of the launch. Uh, not too far in advance, because obviously the other otherwise people are going to forget about it in time for the launch. What else have you been working on this week? What do we have this to look forward to? This week had lots of meetings with new clients or new potential clients pitching so a couple of those were like lingerie brands mini me brands different kind of variations of apparel what else this week we've gone into production on a few of our brands so we've signed off sampling and kind of given the go ahead booked fabrics and production space so Lots going on, really busy. I've seen you working with a lot of designers and stuff. Yeah. How are you finding that? Any tips for people who are working with designers? I think just make sure that your brief is really clear to designers. Uh, when you're typing something out or you're writing some, a message to someone, I think a lot of things can get lost in translation. So I think it's really key to have loads of images, explain what you're, you're wanting from them in terms of the designs, but also then talk it through with them because quite often, you know, like maybe the way you explain something could be different and different terminology is used across like different designers, different brands, um, everyone obviously has different experience. And the other thing is that designers typically have a handwriting, so within the team here I would judge what the project is, what the brand is and the ethos behind it, like what the concept is and then give that to the relevant designer, whether it be like the, their more streetwear graphics, their kind of more pretty floral feminine vibes, um, but everyone has their own skill set and it's just kind of managing that. I think let's align them because I don't think it'll just look cleaner. Yeah. And you can see outside. 